I saw the New York Dolls and Kiss at an outdoor show, and I said, yep, that's what I want to do. So, there you go. And here you are. And here I am. First band with Cock Rock. I was working at uh, the Memphis JCs. A couple of the operators, one was Adam Sater, and one was Nancy Collins, and, and then I was a delivery boy. And we decided Nancy had a show on Saturday nights at Weevil. You know, she said, y'all should start a band and come down. And, and we were going to be called the Cockroaches, but we changed it to Cock Rock at the last minute. So we would go down there on Saturdays and play. We did it for like a month in a row. And then Nancy said, I know this guy that owns a bar down the street. It used to be the well. It's the antenna. And I think I could get you guys in there. So we're going, yeah, right. Yeah, go for that, Nancy. You can be our manager. So she sets it up. And then we're terrified to go down there and play in front of people because we're doing it on the radio. So, you know, you can, there's no audience, nobody can throw shit at you, you can just play. <clears throat> so we're all hesitant to do this. But So we went down, the we were booked on a Wednesday, we went down the Wednesday before just to check out the club. And Jim Duckworth, who was here before me, his band, The Party Mixer, were playing, which is, God, just the most awesome, worst band you could possibly put on the page. They, they were doing a song, they did a 20-minute version of Smoke on the Water with the guy, Eric Hill, just standing there smoking a cigarette, blowing smoke into the microphone, going, Smoke on the water, we got smoke on the water, over and over and over for 20 minutes. So we're sitting there going, we can do this. We can play this bar, you can do anything here, and no one will boo you or throw nothing at you. So, so, so that was the a, concept of the cop band? I mean, what did y'all It was the get up, and that was back when lewds were real popular. So uh, they called them disco biscuits, I guess. And we would just get up and entertain our looted out friends and try hope to God that we made $50 so we could cover Marty on the PA. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever it was time to quit, Steve would always let us know by emptying all the beer cans on the, on the bar and people would start chunking them at us. You know, after, after the years of playing the same three chords, you're gonna learn a fourth and fifth chord. So yeah, our, we got to where we could actually play much later on. But, that was the beauty. You didn't have to learn. If you knew three chords and could get uh, ten of your friends to show up, you were in at the antenna club. I was joking that I'm on my way to number one South Maine to do an interview. I wonder if I should tell them about the time that uh, me and Angerhead and Rebel had a threesome in the Celebrity Lounge. Now, there's no way I would have used that joke 20 years ago because both of them just popped me like a fucking grape. But I think I can take them these days. So. <laughs> <laughs> they still call me, it must have been good. <laughs>